Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Chiom Tech TV. I am Chiom, and today we will continue to learn coding. So excited! We will be doing something different today. It is called Coding with Moana. It has 19 different steps, and it's really cool. Disney and Out of Code came together to create this awesome coding experience. You get to sail across the sea with Moana and Maui and fight the Kakamora. I will break it into two parts. We'll do the first 10 steps today and finish the remaining steps in my next episode. But not to worry at all, all coding exercises have a common denominator. Watch the video, read the instructions, and do exactly what it says. Well guys, before we start, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, click that notification button so that you never miss a video because I'm going to be posting a lot. Please, 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 just hit that red subscribe button. I really need your help and support. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll continue to use Hour of Code or Code.org to learn coding. Remember, it is a very easy to understand method and I hope you like it. So grab your computer and follow me step by step. Remember, the best way to learn is by doing. Practice makes perfect, they say. By the end of this video, each and every one of you should be able to code, no matter how small. Coding activates your brain and lets you have fun at the same time. I'll be sharing my screen right now, so without wasting your time, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. Okay, guys, remember, first you have to go into your browser, mine is Google, and type in Hour of Code. Let's just type that in, Hour of Code. If you've done that before, then it should already come up. But if you haven't, just type in Hour of Code, press the first website you see. Yes, that top one. And then it'll take you to this website right here. Just type try it. Type, just press try it. And then just take you to their homepage of games. Now you need to do something very special to find Moana. You have to press the grade 2 slash 5. Once you press that, then you can start looking for Moana. Seriously, it's so hard to find it for some reason. So let's just look for it right now. I think I'm almost there. Here it is. Moana, Wayfinding with Code. Just press Start, and it should take you to this website right here. As you can see, Disney also helped Hour of Code make it. Just press Begin Now, and it should take you to the Moana homepage. Yes, it just did. Just wait for this thing to load, and we'll be able to start coding, guys. I'm so excited. I love coding with Moana. It's just so much fun. Let's just wait for it to load. Now that's done loading, as you can see, there is a video in front of you. Remember, you guys have to watch this video. Then, you guys need to click X and come over to the website with me. Well, we're already on the website. So once you're done watching the video, just click X and you get to read this. Let's read it together. Lesson number one of 19. I heard there are fish nearby. Let's move forward. So now, you see Wayfinder's instructions. Let's just follow those. Drag a move forward block to the workspace and hit run to try your program. Now, the special thing about this is, they already put one in, but you can't stop until you get to the little harder to feed circle. So I'm just going to take another move forward block, put it under the first one, and press run. Then, as you can see, if you have your volume on, you'll hear them whooshing through the water going forward. Now, Moana is talking to us. Nothing yet. Let's keep on moving forward. Just click that little arrow and just take you to lesson number two. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. I like it because there are not many videos in this, seriously. And it's also one of the coding methods that they use to practice beginner's coding in the University of Harvard and Berkeley University. Now that it's done loading, let's read the next lesson. So Maui and Moana said, look, there are fish ahead. Wow, I didn't believe it was true. Ooh, look at Maui with his little demigod hook and all those tattoos. Okay, so the Wayfinder's instructions is use the move forward block to help Moana and Maui reach the fish bank. So let's just type in three move forwards. One, two, three. And click run. Three, two, one. Ooh, look, they're so fast. 
Okay, they are ready moved. Let's go on to number three. Amazing, there are plenty of fish around here. Well done, guys. Okay, now it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Okay, it's done loaded now. Let's read what it says. I can see the first fish on our right. Let's go for it. Choo hoo! Oh, I like when Maui says that. Oh, so look. So, the Rayfinder's instructions are use the move forward and turn right blocks to get the canoe closer to the fish. Once you get there, make sure to use the fish block to make the catch. So, if they already move forward, once that makes it easier, just take a turn right block, move it under the move forward, then take two more move forwards and put it under the turn right block. Then you need to click fish under all the blocks. It has to be in this specific order or you won't get it right. Now, once you've done that, just press run and they just start sailing through the sea, catching some fish. Ooh, it's so cute. Oh, they caught two fish. Nice. Then, once they've done that, Maui's going to say, that was a good catch, and it will move on to number four. Okay, so Moana said, Moana said, Two more fish out there. Let's catch them one by one. So just click that little arrow. And the Wayfinder's instructions are use the move forward and turn right blocks to get the canoe closer to the fish. Then then use the fish block. Fish block. So now what you're gonna do, they didn't put any blocks, so we have to do this by ourselves. Just take two move forward blocks and put them under the one run block. Then you're going to click fish. Then, what you're going to do, you're going to take the turn right block, and then under it, two more move forward blocks, and then another fish again. They're catching so much fish, they're catching two fish for every fish block. Okay, let's press run. As you can see, they are moving towards the fish, and they are catching them. Uh, this is actually really fun, guys, because they get to sail across the sea, and we're helping them do it. Okay, let's go on to number Five. Just wait for them to tell you. Ooh, woohoo! Oh, Maui, did you see? Something fell near the canoe. What? Hey, looks like it's working. Just press the little arrow and let's move on. Let's move on. To number five. Now, what it says for number five is we have three more fish to catch. Just press that arrow and we'll be on our way. Now, the way found this instructions is keep catching fish using the move forward and turn right blocks to position the canoe. So what we're going to do, oh, there are three fish that we have to catch this time. So what we're going to do, we're going to put three move forward blocks, move forward, move forward, move forward, then fish, then turn right. And then we just do that all over again. Move forward, move forward again, another move forward. Then fish, then turn right again. I wish we had loop blocks. That would be so much easier to do with loop blocks. Seriously. Okay, let's do this. And fish. Okay, now let's press run in three, two, one. Okay, so as you can see, they are moving towards the fish and catching them. Then they will turn right and they'll do it all over again. It's kind of like using loops. Except we don't have our loops. Okay, they're almost done. Can you guess how many fish they're catching? If you were counting it, you would never you won't guess how much fish they're catching. Okay, now Maui said, Oh no, you're right, we're being attacked. Oh no, is that the Kokomora? Oh no. Oh, what a coincidence! There happens to be a video here about loops. Oh, okay, so once you're done watching that video, just click the um, watch button, that's the little triangle. Once you're done, just click X, and we can move on to coding number six. Now, this says, come on, Maui, let's see where those rocks are coming from. Speed up. Now, the way from these instructions are speed up toward the barge that is the source of the rock. But by adding the move forward block inside of the repeat four times loop. Ooh, yay, we get a loop now. Let's put this move forward block inside of the loop and press run. 
Okay, so, wow, we didn't even have to use more than two blocks for this. Okay, now once they're done, it's gonna say, The Kakamura, we need to teach them a lesson. Look at Maui with his fish hook, like, woohoo! Okay, let's just press that little triangle arrow button, and let's move on. Okay, so, what it says for number seven is... There are over there. Let's move closer to the barge. Let's just click that little triangle button. And the Wayfinder's instructions are, use the repeat four times loop to move forward faster. Remember to rotate the canoe first. So I'm just going to put this in. Oh no, I forgot to rotate. Let's just move this out. And rotate the canoe. So they're facing behind me right now. And they need to go over there. So let's put the turn right. And let's move forward. Oops, I put the wrong one. I accidentally put right. It's actually left. Okay, let's press run. Turn left, and they're going. Yay! Now, let's do this, guys. It's so much fun. Beware, more rocks are coming from the Kakamora Barge. Just press the little triangle button, and let's move on. Okay, guys, it's done loading. Now, what it says for number eight is we're getting closer to the Kakamura Barge. We must move fast to dodge those flying rocks. Now, the thing about this is that if you don't do it correctly, a rock is going to come over and hit them. I don't know why, but it just does that. Now, the Wayfinder instructions are zigzag using the turn right and turn left blocks in order to dodge those deadly rocks. Then, try moving faster than one, t than one repeat times block to move faster. So, ooh, repeat three times. I'm gonna put another one. But wait, we have to rotate the canoe first. So what we're gonna do, we are going to put the turn right block first because it says turn right and turn left so let's just turn right block in between these two repeat blocks and let's put another move forward except we're going to change it to repeat two times then we're going to use the turn left repeat three times but hmm after we turn left that's going to be one two three four let's move it to four times and let's put another move forward block inside of that. Can you guys see the order of my screen right now? It has to be that exact order, remember everybody? Also, my face cam is covering up Moana and Maui, so let me just fix that real quick. Okay, so as you can see, I moved my face cam right above the Wayfinder's instructions. Oh, look! There is another zigzag. I actually kind of like these zigzags. Okay. The Wayfinder's instructions are, order to move those deadly rocks, then try using some more than one repeat block to move faster. Oh, so it was already down. Zigzag using the turn right and turn left. Let's press run. And look, they're doing it, they're doing it. Ooh, and we put all the correct buttons. I'm so proud of you guys. Ooh, this is so nice. Oh, look, they made it. She's doing her little wavy thing. Okay, I'm water set. Good, we dodged those rocks. Let's just press that little triangle button, and we will move on. Number nine. Now, it says it's getting harder to dodge these deadly rocks. Once we get there, they will learn who Maui is. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So let's press that little arrow button, and move on to the Wayfinder's instructions. Oh, that's, that's a little bigger. Okay, so this says, continue to zigzag while approaching the Kakamora barge. This time, you'll need four blocks inside of the repeat six times block. Oh, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the move forward. And I think it was turn left. Move forward. Turn right. Now, I think that's it. So let's press run. Move forward. Yep, we did it correctly. Move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right. And they have to repeat that six times to get to the little heart of Tafiti circle over there. Oh, this is so much fun, guys. Ooh, look at them. It's just so cute how they turn. They're just like, wee. 
Okay, okay, now it's time to move on to number 10. Let's just wait for them to finish. Yay! She's gonna do that little waving thing. <laughs> She's so far away though, so some people won't be able to see it. Okay, oh look, now they have those little circles behind them. We avoided all the rocks, but there are more coming this way. How many rocks do they have on that barge? I know, right Maui? Okay, let's press that arrow and move on to number 10. Okay, so the lesson for number 10 is we are approaching the Kakamura barge and more rocks are reaching us. Keep zigzagging. <gasps> Look, the Kakamura barge is right there. It's right there. Okay, let's keep on zigzagging. Repeat four times. Let's put a move forward block in that. Another repeat four times. Now, one mistake someone can have is putting move forward on the front. And let me show you what happens if you do that. So, it's move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right. Right, guys? Move forward, turn right. Now, what that will do is watch my screen right now and see what happens if you do it like that. So, they're moving forward, but then they move forward again. That is so wrong. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take that move forward and put it on the bottom. Also, let's change that left to right and that right to left. Now, it's good. So, let's press run. Look, so they're moving forward now, and now they're going to turn right, and then they're going to turn left. Look, guys, it's going so well, and they're almost at the Kakamura Bar. I'm so excited for them. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, they're at the Kakamura Barge. Wait, is she going to say hi to them? Wait, what? Okay, oops, the Kakamura escaped. So what we're going to do, this this is what happens when you make a mistake. It explains it to you. Try using the repeat four times block with a move forward block inside of it, then another repeat three times block. So what we're going to do, we're going to change this four to a three. Now let's press run. And look, so they're going forward. But how did the block just come down? Like, I don't see any Kakamoras. Wait, that kind of looks like a coconut. So that might be a Kakamura. But what is that face? Like, seriously. Okay, so now that they are done, they're about to be done. Yes, they reached the Kakamura barge. How come I don't see a rock now? Oh well, we reached their barge. Let's just mark. Now we have to make the decision. Who goes into the Kakamura barge and who stays and guards the canoe? Oh wow. Okay guys, now I have to end the video because I don't want it to get too long and I don't want you guys to get confused. But in the next episode of Coding with Moana, we are going to go into that Kakamura barge and defeat all the Kakamura and then you're going to get a little surprise at the end. So I hope you guys like the video. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, click that notification button so that you never miss a video because I'm going to be posting a lot. Bye guys! Bye-bye!